Now in our calculations here we have two sources, source 1 and source 2. Now we only have one layer to work with at the back at the moment. So under source 1 the layer is background and of course in layer 2 the source is also background. Now remembering our RGB versus CMYK color chart, blonde hair or yellow is actually opposite of blue in the RGB or red, green and blue spectrum. So to create the greatest contrast, under our channels, rather than red, we'll select blue, and under source 2, under channel, we'll also select blue. And we can see that in our alpha channel, we've already created, just by doing that, a greater contrast between the hair and the background. Under blending, we just make sure we've got it ticked at multiply, and we click OK. Under channels, we can see that now we've created this new alpha channel down here. But we're not going to use this just yet. So I'm going to go back to RGB, come into my layers palette, and as with the previous hair masking technique, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by hitting Command J, come down to my new layer icon here, click on that, and with a dark green as my foreground color, I'm going to dump my foreground into this layer by hitting Option Delete, and drag this new layer underneath my duplicated layer. Come into my Paths palette, and I'm going to Command click on my Path 1, to make a selection of my path, back into my layers, select layer 1, and I'm going to hit add layer mask. And now we have a layer mask of those sharp edges of Rebecca's body. Now comes the slightly tricky bit. We're going to come in back into our channels palette, click on our alpha channel, and we're going to exaggerate the contrast between the hair and the background even more. Now we have a few different ways of exaggerating the contrast between the hair and the background. One is to dodge and burn it to make the hair even darker. Or we can just use levels. So Command L to bring up our levels and affect our alpha channel. And I'm going to slide my black point further to the right, which will darken this image even more. And if I drag the midtones along to the right, that's darkening it even more. But it's also darkening the very light areas. So I might just grab my white point here on the right hand side and drag this to the left. Just to ensure that the white background stays white and isn't included in the mask. So that looks pretty good for now. And I'll click OK. Now this alpha channel is like a reverse of the mask that I want for my hair. I do in fact want the hair to be white and the background to be blacked out. So I can just hit Command I to invert this alpha channel. Command click on it to select it. Come back into my layers. Select my layer mask. B for my brush tool. Double zero for 100% opacity. And just brush over those areas which are selected. 